Greetings everybody, I am the Soviet Warlord and uh, I am back, probably not for long, I'm not going to lie, but um, I'm bringing you some Starbound today, so as you probably guessed, reason for no content, new job. <laughs> I've uh, got a new job lately and um, it's quite intense, I'm still training for it. It's going to take me quite a long time before I'm up to scratch, but hey, that's that's the way it is, really. So I haven't really had time to play much in the way of gaming. I'm doing full days now for the first time ever, and it's really rewarding. I'm really enjoying the job, to be fair. So, um, yeah, it just hasn't left me much time to, uh, to play. Hence why I'm here today. Starbound is a game I can play in my free time. Well, Warframe is also one I can play in my free time, but I've sunk nearly, you know, 5,000 hours into that game. Uh, you know, it, in terms of the menus and Steam, I just, I'm burnt out for a while, quite a long time, so that content might take a while to come out. But here I am, I've got Starbound for you today. I'm hoping to make this into a regular series because I really, really enjoy this game. So let's get ourselves started right here. So here we go. Let's get started. Now I know my keyboard is going to be a little bit loud, but I'll try and keep that to a minimum. Right, so we're going to go as a human. Uh, let's try and set myself up here. Um, I don't know what that do. <laughs> Oh do right. Hairstyle. Hmm, that looks like Elvis Presley. Are there any like normal haircuts here? There we go. And I'm gonna make black hair. That's blue. Now it's got a bat regular colours. So that'll do. Shirt. Not much to choose from. Mm, that'll do it. Personality. Yeah, I'm ready. Right, that sort of thing. That'll do it. I don't know why they have the un undie colour on here, because you can't actually see them on this screen, so you just have to talk, take a random guess. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and my own here will be... Stakhanov. I mean, who else would think I would pick something else? There we go. So we have Stakhanov. And that's my character I've been playing in my free time. I try to keep my characters um, separate. So we have to repair the hull of the ship. Well, I don't know how to do this bit, so I'm going to sort that. Like that. So now we have a ship that, well, doesn't fly, but <laughs> works close enough. Then we have the teleporter. And that will get us down onto the surface. Uh, take that. That and that. Right. So I'm going to take my knife and flashlight. Like that. <laughs> right, ready to go. Oh, and I appear to have a cat on my ship. That must be a new thing. <laughs> I don't remember ever having a pet on my ship to begin with. Right. Hamasaki Legion. So, my first goal down here is to get myself uh, some supplies. Oh, hello. Hello. 
perfect. This looks like a nice planet though, it's uh, it's raining. <laughs> They've made quite a lot of changes to the threat system on here as well. So now instead of um, the threat just being classified in tiers, it's classified by the type of world you go to. So volcanic worlds and really harsh terrain is going to be extreme threats. And then planets which have no, no animal life on them, that are, have got a breathable atmosphere but there's nothing there, are going to be classed as harmless. So you've got harmless, uh, mostly harmless, uh, risky, dangerous and extreme. So you have five tiers now instead of ten. It does tidy the system up quite a lot. Actually I do like it. So my first goal, as I said, is to get myself as much of this unrefined wood as possible. Because I need to get ready and build myself some stuff to fix my ship. <laughs> so I'm going to knock down all the trees in this line. There we go. <coughs> No, oh, I see a structure already. Top right. Let's see what supplies I can milk while I'm down here. Is there something under this? No, nothing there. Oh, I just excavated someone's grave for no reason. Oh well. Torches. Gotcha. There's some coal down here, which would be very useful for me. Just learn how to make gunpowder. So basically the end goal of this is I want to set up a home, I want to basically create my own system in one of these galaxy areas. So I want to create a theme to it, I want to almost create my own outpost, my own little colony. Because you can now do that in this game. This game didn't used to offer it, but um, you can now and it is a lot of fun. You didn't used to be able to do anything, really. It used to just be, you get tier 10, and then you just pick up materials, and that was pretty much the end of the game. The end of the game was you being fully dressed in impervium armor that could one-shot everything, and nothing could touch you. The only thing that could ever scratch you was the tier 10 planets. But um, now there's actually quite a lot of danger involved. of him. Plant fibers. Copper bombs. They're really cool those are. So these upgrade modules, they drop you something random every time you activate them. That could be positive and negative, so don't think you're always going to get something good out of it. Sometimes you'll get um, some pixels drop out, which is kind of nice. Other times you'll get um, I don't know, a boost like a health boost or a speed boost or something. And sometimes you might get poisoned or it might blow up in your face. Or it might shoot bombs which blow you up or set you on fire or something. Which is always a lot of fun. So what I'm going to do is mine out a lot of the stuff on this planet. It's my, it's my starting world, so I want to make sure I capitalise on it. It's a mostly harmless world. And I want to get a pistol at some point and a shield. My big mistake when playing on my original character was I didn't take a shield a lot of the time because I thought they were useless. And in all honesty, they kind of were, but they're a lot more useful now. Yes, more copper bombs. <laughs> 
This is a good fucking start, this really is. So let's take all this copper. You can make pickaxes as well, but um, pickaxes are a lot faster than the energy matter manipulator, but it's um, it doesn't last as long. It breaks pretty quick, so in most cases you're better off with the matter manipulator. If you find a drill or something, then by all means use it, because it's a speed boost for a while. But I wouldn't go out of your way making tools, unless you've got a hell of a lot of tools and ores to burn. Collect those, because I know they disappear pretty quick. It likes to rain on this planet. I think being um, wet lowers your jump height. Just a little bit, anyway. Right, so what I'm going to do is mine all this stuff out and I'll rejoin you in a second. If I find anything interesting, obviously I'll carry on. So give me just a moment and I'll see what I can do down here. So I found a structure here and uh, it looks kind of majestic. It's got a human occupant. There's anything unusual about the Florians. The fact that they look human. <laughs> But they have wings. Yeah, that's very nice. Go away. I'm trying to ransack your house. <clears throat> 60. Those bandages are perfect. And I like the stuff you've got here. I want to steal most of the things you have in your house. So I'm going to. That will save me some materials. That will save me some materials. That will save me some materials as well. Take all of those. <laughs> I'm such a thief. Stuff I can scan in the 3D printer is always a favourite of mine. Well, I thought it was going to be a hostile encounter. What's this? Hmm. Well, my frame rate. What's happened to my frame rate? My computer doesn't get frame rate issues with Starbound. Oh, a ten. That's kind of cool. I'll steal this as well. This would be a nice way to recover my health on the go. This is also what I love about Starbound, is because there's so much stuff you can find in the world. Almost makes you feel like you're in a real, like, real living world, even when you're not a multiplayer. I know it's kind of bad to head out at night, but hey. I'll take that, I'll take that. I don't see the point in farming in this game, but some people like to do it. Is that a mineshaft? Yes it is. Is anybody down here? I'm going to take these because they're good storage to begin with. I'll take your tent as well. Oh, hello. This is what I'm talking about. Is there anything down here or oh hello yeah there is one thing perfect 40 pixels more pixels Pixels, if you don't know, are currency for the game. Pixels. Oh, 
oil lanterns, they'll make some good light to begin with. Oh, a copper pickaxe, that'll do nicely to begin with. More lanterns. Ropes. Don't like fighting this close up. This thing seems to go on forever. What's this about? Oh, I'm nearly dead. Crap. Where are my bandages? That's better. A little bit more health. Planks, that'll do. Oh, nothing down here. Torches, that's beautiful. Pixels. Another pickaxe. Blow, I've got a really good start right here. And I'm going to take these because they're nice to scan in. And I can rebuild them later. I'm a big fan of collecting decorative stuff, so I'm going to steal a lot of this. What the hell? And there's the seismograph right there. Oh, iron. That's perfect. Love iron. Give me as much of that as possible. Oh god, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Oh yes, that's what I'm looking for. A handgun. A bit slow, but it will do. Copper, iron, iron and torches, more ropes. Wait, did I just replace that? Yes, I did. <laughs> what the fuck was I thinking? Right, keep that. Much easier <laughs> walking around like someone out of uh, Resident Evil right here. Structures in the early game can give you such an advantage. Pretty good if the monster you're trying to fight doesn't have any ranged attacks either. Okay, 25. Bombs. I don't know why I'm taking the cobblestone, it's borderline useless. Let's grab a drink while I'm waiting. How deep does this thing go? No, that's the end of it. Right. <clears throat> that was a good haul out of that. Actually. I want to get some clay because this makes some good building material. How fast does it mine? I'm going to mine till both of these pickaxes are broken. That's some good speed, actually. 
Right, I'm going to mine this out, so give me a few moments. Okay, so I took out most of that clay. There's a big hollow down there now. So I picked up 447 clay. Over the course of this, I've managed to pick up 40 bits of iron. None of which I mined. I stole it all from that mine. 72 copper, 84 coal, and some bits and pieces, basically. This blunt short sword I'm going to get rid of because I don't need it anymore. Now I have a handgun. Uh, these crates I can make myself, so I'm going to get rid of those. All of these I'm going to scan through the 3D printer eventually. I can make a table anyway. That I can get rid of as well. That'll make some good storage to start with. There we go. Right, so I'm going to take this because it's a traveler's meter. Rope. Planks. Lanterns. Graxus Flux Knife. Well, it's better than my original weapon, that's for sure. There we go. Oh, iron. Beautiful. Oh, another pickaxe. And some more tents. I've already stolen a whole bunch of tents, so... <laughs> Don't need to worry about that. But I'll take them anyway. You never know. And I'm going to take these floodlights as well, because I'm a thief. Okay, that's pretty much everything I can get out of that mine shaft here. So I'm going to move on. Oh, a pod chest. Are you aggressive? Nope. Right. Tech drives. Yes. I need those. Pixels. Plant fibers. Plant fibers are very good. And I'm also going to take the chest. Because that's a very nice chest. Some wheat. Too aggressive? Nope. Neither are you. A sleeping bag? I've never seen a sleeping bag before. Oh, is that glowing rain? I haven't seen glowing rain before either. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> Alright, give me that sleeping bag. Take corn. Some more gravestones. I see a chest. Hmm. Not very much, but I'll take it anyway. There's a chest down there as well. And they said digging graves wasn't going to form anything. Band who would bury bandages with their bodies? Like you needed the bandages when you were alive, my friend, not when you were dead. I've got no power. There you go. I think I'm getting back to where I started now. Or I'm beginning to. Another pod chest? in here. A tech chip. Nice. Oops. I shot a bunny rabbit. Sue me. Uh, I'm going to take these and build myself a bridge up to the top. So much coal down here. Let me take some of this. Now oh, and here comes the normal rain. Yep, 
get this out of here. 14, coal, 16, 18, 19. Generally smaller deposits I don't touch, though I should really, because they are useful. But when I see a massive clump, I just take it because I'm going to forget about it and it's materials I can use at the end of the day. Ow. Plant fibers and corn. Oh, hello, another ruin with another tent. I've got 2v1 here. Ow. Yeah. Clutch, clutch, super clutched. With a handgun. Hmm. Seems to be a lot of stuff built down here. That's a pretty good weapon right there. I'm actually going to take the weapons chest too. A hovel? Hey, a pixel! <laughs> pixel upgrade. Love it. Let's keep my weapon out. Ow. The fuck? Is that my little fucking pony? Or some shit like that? There's like a cross between Pokemon and my little pony, that thing. So much in the way of little ruins. There must be something around here. Oh, pod chest. Tech chips, bandages, plant fibers. Can use the whole lot. I am close to being back where I started, which is a good sign. It means I've technically explored the planet. stuff down here. Okay, it looks like I might be coming to the end here. And this is back where I started. <laughs> so I have officially explored this planet for the first time. So let's go back to the ship and sort out what we got, shall we? Have a little tot up. Right, I'm going to get rid of this because I don't need it. That's better anyway. Okay. Stone rubble. Don't need it. Uh, dirt blocks. Don't need it. Books I will keep. Because they might be useful later for building. I doubt I'm ever going to use plant matter. But I can find it pretty commonly anyway. Clay I will be using. Same with wood. But I'll keep that in my inventory. Because I need to craft some stuff. Bone blocks. I will not be using it. And the cobblestone, I'll put it away. Uh, can I afford to scan most of this stuff? I don't do farming. 30, yeah. A glitch bed, yeah. Floodlights, yeah. A glitch plate, that's nice and cheap. Cheap. The stuff I have scanned, I'm just going to throw away because I don't want it cluttering up my inventory. 
five tombstones. I don't know if flour would cost that much. Now the tents are useful, so I will keep those. The crates I can't build. The wooden ones I can. The wheat seeds. Keep those. No seeds. That's useful. That's useful, but I'll scan it. Pod chest I definitely want. That's a weapon. Perfect. Lanterns. I can craft those out of iron. What was I thinking? And weapon chests. Right, so that is my first inventory completed, pretty much. Petals I don't really know what to do with, but... Because you can paint with the matter manipulator now, so what's the point? So, these. Bombs. I don't really use bombs, so I can get rid of them. Pickaxe, put that up there because I'll use it later. Climbing ropes, don't see the point. I can use blocks. Plant fibers, yes, very useful. Corn. And my three ores. Pearl peas. Pearl peas are useful. Ah, tech drives. I want to use a tech drive. Can I? Twenty core fragments. Right, tech drives are here. I want the pulse jump. There we go. Pulse jump is one of the most useful things like ever. Double jump. <laughs> Right, so that's where I'm going to leave it. So we've explored our first planet. Our ship is still broken. But hey, it's, it's early days yet. So we need to get our ship... Whoa, what the hell is this? Yeah, I'm definitely using this. <laughs> and um, I'm going to be a bit old-fashioned and put a tent in my ship. Yay. Right, <clears throat> I'm going to leave it here, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you share and spread the word because I'm hopefully going to be doing a lot more of these because it's a lot less time-consuming and a lot easier for me to do Starbound than it is Warframe and some other games. So I will see you guys in the next one, and thank you very much. Bye-bye.